Howdy y'all, got a plan today. And that plan is to get this belt pulley off the back of the D4 so that we can get these rods out of here and pull this clutch pack up and out of here. And that's gonna be a big job because we need to be able to turn these tracks so that I can get to all these bolts around here on the end of this. So we've been debating how we're gonna do this. Uh, some of our options were to jack this thing up and uh, put some blocks underneath of the frame down there so that the tracks could move freely. Some of them were to take the blocks out of here and just let the machine down so that we could just roll it back and forth. We'll see what we're gonna do today. But that's our goal, to get that out of there. So this may or may not work, but I think I'm gonna take this piece of uh, pretty thick quarter inch square tube Put it across underneath the track frame here and then we can jack this up and then we'll jack up underneath the draw bar here so that we can roll the tracks that'll leave all this free we're going to cut this down we got the exact measurement was what dad 34, 34 and a quarter inches. 34 and a quarter i'm going to go double check that right now okay, let's see if this thing's going to fit Bingo. Look at that. You don't you only gotta be up a little bit. That is the contraption that we built to uh, get these off the ground so we can turn them. And I think it'll work just fine. So Dad and I were just talking here about how we think that this farmer favored the left side uh, because of the a little bit more wear on the pedal here and on the left steering clutch. And Dad, what was your reasoning? Well, they used to pull one ways a lot and you'd start on the outside of the field and go the same direction, always turning left till you got into the middle. And then you would sew your corners up with a couple of, of uh, passes on, the, on each four corners of the field. And, and you know that because you probably pulled a one-way a little bit. Behind the John Deere D. Yeah. Yeah. Nine foot one-way when I was 10 years old. Which we have out here and we'll have to drag out, pull it around with the 22. So now we're going to take these nuts off of this pulley. Dad's finding the right wrench. And it looks like there's two underneath of there on each side. Yep. So get those off of there. And then I got my handy jack stands that we used on the front of the engine before. And the plan is to jack this up, slip them underneath of here, and then in theory the track should be able to spin around and we can then get to all of these bolts to get them out. I suspect that uh, they're not that tight. You know, nothing really has been except what was inside this transmission case. We'll get them loose and then I'll rig it up with the cherry picker. Dad's got the last one down there. We got all the rest of these out and they were actually kind of a bear just because of the fine threads and the gunk in them. And there's no way to get anything on it other than an open end wrench, especially after you get it to a certain point. You barely could squeeze the nut through there. That's putting a belt on here that we can lift with. I'll lift her up. All right, you ready? Don't want to do that. Can you get a putty knife in there? It's starting to come loose, I Is see. It? Yeah, see? I don't. Yeah. Man, I don't see it. Man, 
and it's stuck. There it went. Is it going? Yeah. All right, let's see. That's gonna make a mess. I know it is. If it... Come up a hair. Or maybe you're too high, I, I don't know. High. Yeah, I don't know. There it goes. Let me get a bigger. There it goes. It might flip one way or the other. That's why I say I want to put our chain up here. You want to? Yes, we I do. can't. We have a live studio audience. I know. Can we like clap at a certain time? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Oh, it's on. Oh, it is? Yeah, it's been oh, recorded. Yeah, I got everything. I might even leave it in there. <laughs> Watch your toes. There it is. I have too much. Oh, space. there's that, that shaft. Is it coming? Yeah, it's coming. Is it going to stay? Yeah. That thing goes clear in there. I gotta let it down a bit. Ah. Oh. That's some pretty gunky oil. All right, there. Come on, and out with it so I can get a pan under this. Well, we thought we drained it, but now we're draining it. This stuff's pretty black. It looks like engine oil. Save part of this for a pattern. For what it's worth, it could be engine oil. No, it's heavy. Is it's it? heavy gear oil. It's, it's dirty. Yeah, it's just really dirty. It's 80, 90 or something. Got part of a pattern here. And here's our belt pulley over here. Got it off. Not as much trouble as we thought we were going to have. Uh, the hardest part was the fine thread bolts and not being able to get a socket on them. Okay, so we got one jack stand in here. We got it jacked up with the floor jack. We'll let it down. You ready, Dad? Yeah, go ahead. Solid. Solid. We're good. Get it around the other side now. We'll just leave those blocks under it. Yeah, just leave them because we're going to need them. Yeah. Hold it. need a hair more. There. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Are we good? Is that oh, yeah. one straight over there? Looks like it's on the edge. No, it's not. It's fine. Good? Yeah. All right. Now, Definitely not going anywhere. Those tracks should turn freely, allegedly. There they go. That's yeah. how we'll have to do it. It's working. All right. They do turn hard. We'll yeah, get but Josh over here to help. Me. Yeah, we need the young guys. Let me go get a wrench and I'll start taking these bolts out of here. Let's see if we can move this side. It moved. That's one thing that everybody said with these is that they're not very tight. What do you think, Grandpa? 
Well, I ain't seen it yet. What's this one? Feels a little rough on the back side there. I can turn it if you want. That's all right. That seems to be all right. I think some steel wool and a little bit of oil and yeah, polish them up. I, I think, think you're okay, okay on the crankshaft. Here, let me turn it for you. Yeah, turn it on around here. That's good, hold it. Looks okay. There's corrosion on it and a little bit of gunk, but there's nothing yeah. scored or pitted. I think you're good. I think so too. Yeah. Well. All right, let me get these punched out of here. You got a magnet? I can maybe catch them. Nah. Yeah, that'll work. Reach under there and you can grab it. Feel it? Yep. Get him? How about this one? Did you get it? No, not yet. I'd rather grab it than drop it in there. Can you feel it? Yeah. You got him? Yep. Now we need to get these ones in the front out. I'm wondering if I could just pry them out. Ooh, careful, there's a bearing in there, see it? Oh, I see it. You yeah. don't want to lose all those ball bearings. So I'm thinking if I can get this to work out, then we can just spin that pin around and pull those, do like we did with those other ones. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, because there's a cotter pin on this end. Is that what's keeping it from going yep. further? So it won't twist around, will it? Or, or wait. Uh, it should uh, tap out. I feel like I'm playing that game of operation we had when we were kids. Ooh, that one's coming out. Easy. I think they were just sitting in there. I don't think they were spread. If they were. Doesn't take much. There it goes. That's a long one. It's actually made so you can screw a bolt in the end and pull on it. That's what we should do because I can't really grip anything. Oof, I gotta be careful. 
Yeah. I don't want to lose all them bearings. Here. You probably got a bolt right here. Those are coarse thread, I believe. Yeah, they look like Hang coarse on. thread. Let's see here. Here. Get a wrench and just snug it. It's not in there far. Well, I just need something to grab on. I've got a puller. I could just probably screw... Oh, there it goes. I just need There's some... There's a lot of junk on it. Make sure that that bearing doesn't come apart. Yeah, these ain't been lubed. That's why that one was stuck. That's so bad. Do you remember what these guys go to? Mm -hmm. Oh, they're to that top cap there. That's what they're to. That's what they're to. There we go. Now, let me flip it back around and I can pull that out. There we go. Have your bearings, I'm going to pull this out. Come over here and keep your uh, bearings and stuff together. Okay. That oiler's got to come off with it too. Gotcha. Okay, you ready? Yep. Okay? Yep. Uh, what's holding me now? Go ahead. There it goes. There you go. Now, as I come oh, out... Oh, it's a cage bearing. So I don't think that they would win anywhere, but... Okay. Still... It's not something I want to let fall in there. All right. You want to grab this one? Yeah. All right, we're going to try a little heat because this thing is not coming off. your side. No, go in the middle like I am. There it goes. Okay. We got it. You got it loose now. She was just a sticky. Let me see if I can grab it. Here, I'll have to whack it here. There. There you go. So we got to pull these bolts off here, right there and there. Yeah, and caps. And pull those caps off. There should be a bearing in there. Same with over here. Then it should lift out. And it should lift out. It yep. should, yeah. I don't see any teeth in there. Well, you can check it out when you get it out of there. Yeah. I don't see anything. There's the PTO down there in the very bottom. Down there. We'll get this out of here and clean that whole back end of this thing out. Let me get these out of the road. Well, you got the biggest part of it done now. Yeah, we do. A part? Now the fun part's going back together. Not really. Yes, it always has for me. That and broke loose? No. Oh. That lock thing is holding me a little bit. Oh, now it is. Now you can zip them off.
There we go. All right, I'm going to take those. And I'm going to lay them here. And when we get that out, we're going to stick them back in there. Just temporarily. That one goes up there. Got the lock with it? Yeah. That one goes there. Okay. And the other side, pull them out and I'll put them over here. Here's the back one. Here's the front one. And... I don't think I need to take that off. They should pull out of there now, right? Yeah. Yeah, it should. There it is, it's loose. out of there. Here, let me see that. You get this out of here. Boy, that stuff is like glass. Why is that not coming up out of there? It's tight. Been there for 80 years, it wants to stay. There it goes. All right, let me stick it. See it's got a dowel pin, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna put it like this. So that's what keeps him from spinning. I'm gonna lay him like that. See if you can get your other one off. And I'll put the bolts yeah. in. Yeah. Is that pin? That dowel? Right there. Yeah, it's there. Good. So some of them, they get smashed because that people put them in. That is smashed. Look, this and it is smashed. It ain't bit. bad. It was where it was supposed to be. Now that thing should lift out of there. We do need to get these brakes off of here and get these flanges separated. It, it should, uh... Got it moving? I, Good. I bet if I turn the track a little bit, see if it's free here. See if it'll... Yep, we're free. Okay. Yep, we're good. All right. Got the bearing caps off. So I got to pull this pin off here so I can get this brake out of here. And in hindsight, I shouldn't have took it apart inside of there. I didn't need to. Looks like it's serviceable from the outside, which makes sense. Do there's a little block. Yes. Now I just need to get that off somehow. I got mine. What? Yeah, I got mine. Mine ain't coming off. <laughs> there it goes. Now, how do you get that little bugger out? You know what you got it? See, they got a piece of cork screwed in it. You got to screw a bolt in there or something to grab onto. To Mine's coming out. Like we did the pin? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Did your keeper come off? Yeah, I got the keeper off. But mine's, it, mine's tack welded to the... Or, welded. or rust welded. It's rusted. I got my keeper off, see? Actually, now that that's loose, that whole brake pack should come out with this. Yeah. But there's got to be a way to take them off so you don't have to take all that out. Yeah, but... I'm not smart enough to know that right now, so I'm just going to do it this way. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, right. Yours isn't coming out? No. Your, of course, that's the rust side. Yeah, this is the bad side. That might be an issue. See, look at, look. Yeah. But do you... Oh, yeah, you got enough to, before it hits the track. Yeah, it's out. Okay, now help me see if you can help me get that other one out. They're we both. got the brakes released by pulling these pins in here. This one was a real bear cow. The other one came out pretty easy, but this was really rusted, and we had to work it back and forth quite a bit. So right now we're rigging this up to pull the clutch pack, and we're just going to take... I got the brake pads loose. They're just going to hang on here. We're going to take the whole works out all in one shot. Are we... Are we ready? I don't know. It should be free, right? Should be. It should come out. Yep. Should slide off of here. I guess I don't have... I got pressure on it now. I think what's going to hold us is these... Like there's a lip in there. Oh. So you got to kind of work those back and forth. Well, how are we going to work it back and forth? With a screwdriver and a bar. Don't mess them threads up there, see? There's no threads there. They're turned opposite. What do you mean they're turned opposite? There's no threads there. They're not lined up. Oh. It's just a blind flange. You'll see when I get this apart. There. Oh. See what I mean? Okay. See this lip here on here? There's one like that on the inside too. Well. So we just gotta work it. Where's the slack loose. gonna go though? There should be enough slack in there. Oh, there see, we go. The is there. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, this side's free now. Yep. Okay. The other one loose. I see. I'm going to leave this in here to yeah, leave it okay. free. Okay. They're stuck. Yes. Here. There. So now it should come up. Yep. Huh? Yep. Should. All right, let's see. Yep, there it goes. That side moves. Where's the big bar at? How come? Here. That side came up. It's moving. I can see it. How come it... What's holding us? There shouldn't be anything holding us at this point. It should come out of there. See, our bearings are up. Look. Well, how come it won't come up? I don't know. Uh-uh. What... What... I don't know. Are those hitting? Where's the light? Let me look down. Here. Put that punch in there and do like I was doing. You see anything in there that that should be stopping us? This ain't up. Oh, it is up off. Yeah, this bearing. one's up too, about a half an inch. I don't know what's. Up. You think? Uh, you don't think that pinion gear there? Oh. Is holding us, maybe. It might be. wonder if I turn it. Is like that transmission that. in... in uh... Uh, yeah, you're right. It should be in neutral, so... Uh, let me put it in maybe a gear. Yeah, you ain't going to move that. <sighs> way. 
I did before. Because that side wants to come out, this side yeah, don't. Yeah, I That's think that's pinion's holding it. holding it. It is. So if we could put it in a gear or something so it'll turn. Let's put it in a gear. Which gear is where? I, I put one of these in. There. Now, rocket. I don't think I'm in yet. Put, push that forward if you can. What? What? This rail. I don't know what gear that is, but it, there. there it goes. Okay, now that uh, that turns. Is that turning it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's letting it go. Isn't it? Yes. No. No. Yeah, we're going. There it went. Yeah, keep going. It's rolling. There it went. Pop. There pop, it went. Pop, pop. Okay, we coming out? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this side's rusty. I hope we can go up high enough. Hang on, make sure my brake ain't catching on anything over there. No. It is, not. it's holding. It's holding. That's yeah. what's holding us. Why yeah. is that not letting us come out? You gotta rotate it. It's caught, that's why. Should I let it down? Well. Move your hand out of there. Let me let it down a little. Oh, that's what happened. Down more? Yeah, no, no, we're good. It's caught, there it goes. There we go. All right, what about this now side? I'll rotate this pad around and it'll come out. There. Want it to go down? Something's, oh, I'm up against the case, the housing here. Push that in if you can. There you go. There we go. His rivets caught. Okay. Now we're good. That side's caught now. No, we're good. We got it. I think we're out, aren't we? Yeah. Their yeah. shoe fell down. Uh oh. Well, I'll have to get some new ones. We got the clutch packs out in the ring gear. This whole ball of wax. Yeah, a lot of rust. A lot of it's just surface rust. Not too terrible, but still not a good thing. Got the belt pulley off today. Here's a view of the other side. Kind of the same. There's the cover off the third member there. Oh, in the bearing caps. And in here is all the gunk, dirt, and debris, and rust, and water, and oil, and who knows what else that got inside of here. Um, not a bad day. Not finding any real serious damage inside of here. Pinion gear looks okay. Uh, the ring gear looked okay. Transmission looks okay. So I don't see any signs of anything being shock loaded and broke. It has some wear on it to be sure, but nothing that uh, is going to keep us from proceeding with the project. And uh, the brakes, well, they're very impregnated with rust and grease. One of the pads came off when we were pulling that out, so. Gonna look for some new brake pads. And yeah, here's the one that fell out. A lot of cleaning to do. Uh, 
still no big signs of anything major other than this that we need to address inside of here. I think we know where we stand with this at the moment. Do need to get the pony motor off of here, go through it, and we do need to uh, work on the oil pump for the engine. Other than that, that's where we stand today. And I think it was a pretty productive day. Do want to thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.